just filmed this whole video and it didn't film. Wah, wah, wah. I should have known better. <sighs> what a sucky situation. You know, when you like think you're filming and you're really not. All right, so this will be take two. Um, so I got the Morphe subscription pack. I like threw everything, I mean, yeah. So I'm gonna show you my Morphe subscription from March and I'm gonna show you the makeup brushes that I kind of collected over the month, um, items that I purchased. This sucks that I have to film this way. But anyway, so we'll start with the Morphe ones. We got three brushes this month. Let me try and find them in my pile of crap. Uh, we're still so I got three brushes. I'm sorry, this is not going to be as exciting as the last one. But I got the M501, which is a nice, like, under-eye, crease, highlight, whatever. So I got that one. And these came with nice little, like, sleeve thingies, which are great for drying. I got the M527, which is so incredibly soft and nice. Again, I have not used these yet. Um, some of the other brushes that I have, I used, uh, what was that? A lash curler. Um, so the other ones I've used and right on. And anyway, the last brush I got from the Morphe subscription was the M438 brush, which looks like so. Again, this could be like an under eye setting. I don't know what the names are. I'll have to go online and look. It didn't come with like a little card or anything. I'm sorry. My hair is like greasy mess. This is like day three, I think. I'm not really sure. So anyway, so those are my Morphe brushes, and then we're going to go over what I got, like, for my birthday, um, and what I found at Walmart for said birthday. Um, but we'll start with the TJ Maxx ones, the things that I've gotten at TJ Maxx, and then I'll go over the ones that I got from Amazon, which, let me see if I can pull them up. <laughs> let me see. I'm sorry. I can like go into my like, oops, nope, my Amazon account and show you what I ordered so you can kind of see it. I sure do buy a lot of shit every month. Your account, let's see, recent purchases. Okay, so I got the, oh, that's what I bought. The eye makeup brushes with, let me see if I can go to the page. Okay. So it is the Beauty Junkies Eye Pro Makeup Brush Set, $25. This is what I purchased. This is my Amazon account. Um, so that's what I got. It comes with seven brushes and a bag. It was really nice. These brushes are, mm -hmm, and I am constantly, I don't know, I buy brushes and then I'm already on the next search for the next brushes. I don't know. Let me know if you guys are like that. I am seriously like that. And then I got the premium contour and highlighting kit. And I have one brush to show you on that. Um, I don't think I can, can I make this bigger? This is also from Beauty Junkies. Um, a couple of YouTubers were doing reviews on these. I guess they got sent these items. So anyway, I have one to show you. Um, and it's the Pro Duo Fiber Brush. And I compared this in the video that didn't film to a different stippling brush because I really like this one. I think it might be my one of my favorites, but they're all really my favorite. Mm. Um, anyway, so you can see that the bristles are different. Like this is more like loose and all that. This is like nice and like dense, compacted with the, the Duo Fiber brushes. It's great for blush. That's what I use it for. Um, you can use it for blush. You can use it. You can actually use these brushes for your, um, your foundation and stuff. Like, um, yeah. Anyway, so for my birthday, um, we were at the mall and I ended up getting a really expensive face cream that I am totally in love with. I got the Kate Somerville, um, goat milk face moisturizer. Holy hell. That shit was like totally worth the $65. Let me just say it is amazing. So I got that and something else makeup wise, but I don't really like keep that stuff to like review or whatever. I mean, if you're interested in it, I'll let you know what my skincare things are, but I got this brush from this store called Kiko. It's new. I don't really go to the mall a lot. I like to go to like TJ Maxx, Ross, things like that, that I can like quick stop in and like leave. So I had been looking at this brush for a while and it was like part of their like high school line or I don't even know, but, uh, it was $10. I got it. It's purple and bright orange. It is a synthetic brush. You could use this for foundation, um, any type of like cream product. Uh, 
So yeah, there's that. And then I go to TJ Maxx a lot for my brushes. Um, these are the ones that I picked up this month, uh, the month of March. So I got two separate brushes. I usually won't spend over like $7 on a brush from like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, things like that. Um, that's just me. I just won't. Um, because if I'm going to spend that kind of money, I'm going to get like a really nice brush from like Mac or Sigma or so anyway, I got this buffer brush. Um, I bought this just kind of like for, I don't powder all over anymore. I just kind of powder in certain places. So I kind of thought this would be cool. I liked that it was pink. Giselle thought I bought this for her. Totally sold me out to, to my husband when I got it. She's like, look, mom got these. I was like, Ugh. So you shop with kids. Um, and then I got this foundation brush. I actually use this for blush. Um, you could technically use it. I just don't like the way that a brush like this would put your foundation on. I prefer different types of brushes for my foundation, but this would be okay. Um, I just think it would kind of spread it out a little bit more. It is synthetic, but I use this for blush as well. Blush, bronze, or whatever. And then I bought the angled blush brush from Precision Beauty. They have this line, I think, all the time. This is really nice and soft. It's synthetic as well. Yeah, it's synthetic. You can tell by the hairs. So it's a synthetic brush. Um, I like these for blush. You can use them for highlight. It actually puts like a nice light blush on. So I can tend to be heavy handed and with summer coming, I just kind of wanted to be a light handed. So I actually got this one too. This is the stippling brush. You can use this for foundation. You can use it to contour. Um, I really haven't used it yet. Um, I'm not a huge fan of contouring. I don't contour a lot. I would probably make my face look a lot thinner, but I just don't think it's realistic in an everyday life. So that's just my personal opinion on it. I think it looks amazing on other people. And then last place I went shopping was Walmart. Now Walmart has lots of different brush options right now and they're really upping their game. I had, when I was doing this video before, I said how I was looking for these lashes that they have, um, the Salon Perfect Lashes. I can't find the ones that I'm looking for. I can't find them at all and it really pisses me off because I've been to like every Walmart in this area and there's a lot nobody has the lashes like their lash aisle is empty all the time and it drives me crazy so I got these from lovelashes.com or something like that it's a, the website I like to buy lashes from so I got these ones they're very similar to ones that I'm looking for um I just think the band on this is going to be kind of small I don't know yeah it is what it is what's up mm, like a half hour um, so anyway, so from Walmart, I got the, cause I always go like it's lashes and then brushes. So I always look to see what's new. Um, they are selling real technique brushes right now. My Walmart is selling those. Um, so anyway, so I picked up these, um, I fell in love with this brand when I went to IMATS the first time a couple years ago. It's called Royal and Lang. Langnickel. Um, their brushes are pretty cool. I got two sets and then I got a powder brush last year. Um, at IMATS, which is this weekend, they sell, I know it's sad. I met, I didn't go this year. We just didn't have the money and I started a new job and blah, blah, blah. What was me? I didn't really need anything from IMATS. I got a lot of pro discounts. Um, I've spent a lot of time like investing in my, like, you know, freelance career, but you know, it is what it is. Anyway, so they have these Royal and Langnickel, um, line. It's called Moda, M-O-D-A. They have lots of different colors. Um, it's really, really cool. They looked really nice. And since I'm familiar with this brand, I knew it was safe bet to like purchase them. They have another brand. It's like super cheap and the handles look really plasticky and the bristles. I always look at blush brushes, excuse me, in terms of the bristles. I could care less about the handles as long as the bristles of the brush look decent and you can tell when they're going to be shit. So these are amazing. This is an all over face powder brush. I love this, but I also use this to put on um, Harmony from MAC, which is my favorite bronzer style blush blusher. Um, I really enjoy this one. Under $7. I think it might have been $6.95, so technically under $7. Um, next, I got this Royal and Langnickel Contour Brush. Um, I don't think... 
I did save some of the packages. So the packaging looks like, can you see it? Can you see it? It looks like this. Um, so they're clear. This is for the powder brush. So it, let me put those down. So it looks like that in the box. These um, Royal Magnifical on the back. Moda is the name of the line. Great, great purchase, let me tell you. So I did keep all of my trash in here. Oh, here's the, I bought this one for Sam because it's pink um, from TJ Maxx. And I was just thinking, because I'm putting a box together for her, I digress, but I'm putting a box together for her and I forgot where I put it. So glad I found that. I can throw those out now. Anyway, so I got the contour brush. Um, I like these for under your eye. I don't really use them for much else other than under eye setting. That's just my preference. And then I got the complexion brush. These are all synthetic brushes, so you can use them with wet or dry products. It doesn't really matter. Um, I got the contour brush only because um, I like the ones from Real Techniques. They're decent. Um, sometimes I like to pack on my foundation, other times not. So it's meant for complexion stuff. I don't know. Um, so you can use it for contour. You can use it, you know, whatever. So there's that one. And then, oh yeah. And I'm like, what else did I buy? And then the last thing I have are two eye brushes. Um, they look like so. I, I wish they had had the set. There's some sort of set of eye brushes. I haven't been able to find it, but I am trying to refrain from like searching for things with my anxiety. It's tough sometimes. So they had a double ended. So it has a smudger on one side and the crease brush on the other. And then it came with an eyeshadow powder brush. And this was under six, I believe. I think it might've been $5.95 or something like that. Whatever Walmart's thing is like $5.96. I forget what it is, but <sighs> I'm long winded. <laughs> Um, so those are the items that I purchased, uh, for the month of March with, you know, like brushes, things like that. Um, in reference to like cost, I'm, I'm happy with the amount that I've purchased. Um, and I mean that in terms of, um, buying what I like instead of like just buying to buy. Um, I really like brushes. I have a lot of brushes and I'm going through some of them now to send to a friend. Um, because I feel like I rotate through like ones that I like and then I like become obsessed with one versus another, you know, that's how I am. So anyway, where do you guys look for brushes? Cause I go to TJ Maxx, Marshall's, um, Burlington co-factory last night had some nice ones. I went and I got a new pocketbook anyway. So those are my brush purchases for the month and my Morphe subscription. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will do another one next month. I'm hoping that my April Morphe box comes this week. I think it is cause it came out of the bank account. Um, so yeah, anyway, have a great day. Um, I appreciate you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye.